Ipsedeus pacis sanctificent vos per omnium, et integera spiritus vesper et anima et corpus et sine querela, in adventu domini nostri Iesu Christi servetum, fidelis est qui vocat vos qui et siam facit. period of Advent is the immediate preparation for the Incarnation, for the liturgy, is the mysterious way in which the Lord has enabled us to get out of immediate time and to enter into His time, which is beyond time and out of time, so that we too can be placed with the centuries of which the readings of this day speak, and be awaiting the coming Saviour. 
we have the genealogy of Jesus Christ in the Gospel of this day from time immemorial, reminding us of the generations of waiting patiently year after year, century after century, for this fullness of time. And we have in the antiphon which we are about to use, which again has been used from ancient times, this reminder of the eternal and unchanging wisdom of our God, patient and strong, O sapientia, O wisdom. The incarnation is specifically linked with the second person who comes to us, the wisdom of the eternal Father. And this antiphon, which is something which echoes from the heart of the Middle Ages, which has always been celebrated in a very particular way in the monastic life and canonical life, is something which makes us learn our size. This wisdom extends from one end of time, one end of the universe, to the other. And we are here in one point of time, handling this moment of time and handing on the torch of time and praise to the next generation which will come after us. Just behind us we have that reminder of the littleness of humankind before eternity, New Grange, where battling with the forces of light and darkness, they went into the beyond after a very short innings, leaving behind them this monument to the mystery of the beyond and of light and darkness. We have the light, we have the light of life, and as we come to celebrate still in midwinter the coming of the one who shortens eventually the night. It's interesting that it is at midwinter, at the beginning therefore of the extended day that Christ will come. We come into victory and not into more darkness on condition that we obey the message that the Incarnation gives us. And for that to happen we need therefore to calm down and to leave behind what is only the preparation of the body, for if the preparation of the soul is not there we are celebrating the wrong thing. Thank 
Sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos amarum. Deus humane conditor et redemptor naturum, qui verbum tu minutero perpetue virginitatis carne assumere voluisti, respice propitius, ad preces nostras, ut unigenitus tuus, nostra humanitate suscepta, nos, divino suo consorzio sociare dignetu, per dominum nostrum Iesum Christum filium tuu, qui te convivit et regnat in unitate Spiritu Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus nos benedicat, et ad omni malo defendat, et ad vitam perducat eternam. Amen. Benedicamus Domino Deo Peccatorum misere, 